Hey there everybody and welcome to another Tuesday Teaching Tips with me Sally Cathcart and each week I come back and each week the world has changed um, and I hope that out there you're all okay and I hope you've all got the support that you need from your friends and your family and your neighbours. Um, I just wanted to pop in today and talk a little bit more about the importance I think of I mean, I'm talking from a purely personal point of view now for me, but I think it's probably helpful if I just share with you what I've been up to. Um, I started teaching online last week and that's that's all all good in ways. It was quite exhausting. Last week, the children here in the UK were still at school, so I kept to my normal timetable. And by the end of the uh, the end of the teaching, it was uh, very tiring. So this week I've planned a new routine for myself and it's not just my teaching but I've noted down a few different things that I want to be doing over the next few weeks including of course playing the piano and doing a bit more writing because excitingly I have got some musicianship books about to be published any day now but um, I'm going to be doing some more of that as well as reading and some research so I, I actually got and wrote an ideal week there's my ideal week um, vaguely and I'm giving myself a bit of space and time I think because we all need that up here as much as emotionally in our hearts and I know that I've got this week and I've got next week and then I'm going to have my Easter break as always planned so the Easter holiday if you can call it that is not that far away and I personally am going to need that space to plan for the summer term to think about how I'm going to deliver lessons really effectively online. I, I'm gathering lots and lots of lovely ideas as I go along, um, both from my own teaching and from what other people are doing as well. So I just want to say today that I would really recommend that you plan your daily routine. And I wouldn't have every day the same. I would change, mix and match a little bit um, because you want to keep each day feeling a bit different from the previous day. But I know that I'm finding it hard to get very much done at the moment. That I feel as I'm doing a lot, but not achieving very much. But actually, when I've got when I stick to my my routine for the day, then I get those things done. The things I've planned, I will tend to get done, which then feels good. And um, and also just give yourself some space. So if and I think parents, students also need space. I know parents are sometimes going to struggle with uh, well I know they are with their children at home all day and this idea of homeschooling and it depends on the level of support that the schools are giving so I think it, it it's really important that we all have the space whilst we support and nurture and make sure that actually we can all move through this together because it will end we will come to the end of this and we will have changed I think inevitably as people and as a society and some of that will be for the best and some of it is going to be really really hard to deal with but let's be in this together know that you are not alone and do feel free to reach out to us here at the curious piano teachers if you ever feel that oh, i'm just by myself and struggling with this because we're here to support you and uh, and help you to move forward yeah in this time of difficulty so just sending lots of love to everybody. Take care and I'll be back again next week with another Tuesday Teaching Tips. Bye bye.